Hey, what's up guys? So, I have been given a task. Uh, apparently, this quad has been the pain of quite a few butts. And long story short, it made it back to Chad Capper. Chad was gonna get it running for this dude, but they went to Hawaii. When I first brought it in my basement, I plugged it in and we had a surprise. Woo! So, I uh, I should have checked it out with the multimeter first, but it's not so fun. You know, we got fireworks. Fireworks are always fun, especially when they're not my fireworks. So, from here on out, we're going to go through and test everything the way it should be tested. Um, starting off with the multimeter, most likely we're going to have to remove the ESC that uh, spectacularly uh, died, and move on from there. So that's where we're going to start now. All right. We're gonna plug this in, see what happens. The ESC that I said looked kind of weird, is this one right here. I'm thinking it might have already been uh, fried, but we're gonna plug it in and see what kind of stuff we get. So hopefully it just boots up and maybe it's like a software problem. Woo! Okay. Um, <laughs> we're definitely not gonna call that a software problem. All right, so on our multimeter, nice and easy I don't really use this for much but the one thing I do use it for all the time is if you go over here to the thing that looks like a Wi-Fi signal sideways that's just your continuity test and all that's going to tell us is if we have a short somewhere from our pretty much red touching black you'll hear an audible tone so it's a really quick and easy way to check your quad to see if it's going to smoke when you plug it in so most likely it shorted out and that's probably why it blew on us so we'll just go ahead and check it so black and red and it shorted out so i don't know if it shorted because this esc but it burned up on us already and it shorted itself out here or if there's something else on the frame so what we're going to start off with is we're just going to remove this esc out of the equation and then do our test again and nice and simple you know just pull everything off of it and by everything i mean all the wires that we have so I'll start off with three motor wires when that ESC fried I'm sure you saw that the only thing really that looked like it cooked was the ESC itself so hopefully the motor is still good but if it's not we'll, uh, we'll replace it too all right so let's check our continuity one more time and we'll see if that was the only culprit or if we have more so we're gonna go over to the ESC on this side now and red, red, black, and black. As of right now, we have no other shorts. So if we touch this ground and the ground coming off your lipo, you got continuity. Same thing with our uh, power. If you hit your power to your battery, you got continuity. So with these two not shorting out, we know that if we plug it in right now, it will not give us any bad consequences. So let's go ahead and do that. All I'm gonna do right now is just make sure that none of these wires that we soldered or desoldered are gonna to touch anything. So with these being KISS ESCs, when we plug it in, we should at least see the LEDs on everything. Let's plug in and hopefully we don't see smoke. All right, that's a good sign. So we heard the tones, all three ESCs have a blue light and without putting in another uh, ESC, I want to get it bound to my radio. Welcome to and after we get it bound, I just want to do a quick check. I already have a setup for Rotorite Aliens and I want to make sure that I have auxiliary one, an arm switch, which that's good. So now, Let's go into find, and we're gonna see if everything's right. So, so much easier to do this with a friend. All right, now let's look and see if that was bound correctly. And we are bound. So now, all I'm gonna do is flip the arm switch and see what we get. Oh, wrong switch. Haha. -ha. Shows me. 
All right, so we got three motors spinning, three motors idling up correctly. So at this point, all I'm going to say is it's one bad ESC. So when we replace this ESC, we should be good to go. So let's do that here. So these are replacement parts, thanks to Capper and Rotorite. So we have one ESC. We will box the rest of these up. So we also have light controllers. We got all kinds of toys if we need it. And all we're gonna do now is we set this out of the way. We're gonna take this ESC and tin everything on it like we need to. Now you don't need a lot of heat on these. Uh, anybody that's soldered for a while knows just enough. There's one, two, three, four, little solder bridge there. See, and that's what I'm saying. Even with me doing this for a while, all it takes is just that little bit of solder that touches. And as soon as we plugged it up, it would have poofed. So that's not cool. So we just gotta be careful what we're doing. And worst case, when we get done, we hook it all up, then we check it with the multimeter. So now the motor pads. So now we'll just lay this on this little pad that he has. Just gonna put this right back on. So start with the motor wires just to hold one side of it. And there's not a lot of wiggle room. But as long as we can get it together. There's one. Power. And now the hard ones. So straight across. One. Two, and three. So now, since we have the ESC back on, we're going to get our multimeter again. And just like we did the first time, touch red and black and see if we're getting it short. And it sounds good. Or actually, it doesn't sound like anything, but that's perfect, that's what we want. All right, now that we know for sure that the SESC is soldered in correctly and there's no shorts, take a deep breath. We'll turn our transmitter on and do a quick function test. Welcome to Open TX. And all that is is we're going to plug it in and hope that we don't get any magic smoke. And then we're going to see if that motor will spin up. Whew. Okay, so, so far so good. We have four ESCs, four LEDs on the ESCs. We are connected to our receiver and let's arm. So that's a good thing. We have four motors. All four motors are spinning. And let's check direction. This one's spinning correctly. This one's spinning incorrectly. But with the KISS CSCs, all that is as simple as soldering a jumper. If you look right here, let me find my tweezers. Right here, these two little pads, they say JP1. And all we do is you put a little dab of solder on that. Now, if you look, it's very close to quite a few components. So when we put that solder on there, we do not want to touch any of those components. So we're gonna do that really easy. And after we do that, we're gonna check our continuity one more time just to make sure we didn't fry anything or short anything out rather. And this is the part I always hate because I can never seem to get these two little pads to connect. If you have a trick to doing this, please let me know. Cause I tend to just put a bunch of solder on it and smack it until it falls off. Which is what I did right there. And we have a little blob of solder on the ESC now and it don't look bad so now I'll just do another little continuity check I, I do these a lot only because I would rather do yeah we're good do too many checks than be replacing the burn up ESC like we're doing right now so one more time we're gonna turn the uh, transmitter on plug it in no fire and motor direction so correct correct 
incorrect, incorrect, incorrect means correct because these, yeah, you got it. Anywho, so right now the quad would fly. So all I'm going to do is wrap the uh, electrical tape around the SCs to hold them in place, and then all we're going to do is. Derek sent along these props that say read me and when we read me it says please tune with these smiley face all right so we got Derek's quad out here and last time we did anything we put a new ESC on it and just powered it on in the house and everything seemed to work okay so now we got some props on it and we're gonna see if the maiden flight goes well so anyway let's uh let's get her plugged in and see how she does Alright, so we have battery on, spider channel. Yeah, so that was a lot easier than I expected. Uh, ended up just being a bad ESC. And all we had to do was replace the ESC. We tested everything out, didn't have any shorts. So uh, it was a nice, simple problem. I hope you learned something. You know, if, if this is something you would like to see, you know, like me doing some build videos or troubleshooting issues, uh, let me know. You know, like, comment. And if that is a, an aspect that you want to learn about, we'll, we'll go that way. So I appreciate you watching. I hope you learned something. Catch you on the next one. Yeah, baby.